Today you are going to learn the basics of how to read music on your cello. We first begin with the five lines that you see on all scores. And these five lines are called the stave, staff or la porte en français. And in French, porte literally means to carry. And because these five lines carry the notes, in our world, the cello, we play the bass clef. The bass clef is placed here and it is called clé de fa because if we take a much closer look, there are two dots in the clé de fa and those dots are above and below fa or the note F. It's very important to understand that the clef is not a fancy symbol. Everything has a meaning under its beautiful artistry. If you have ever wanted to learn to read music, you pick the right instrument and it's as easy as one, two, three, four. The top string here is the top line of the stave, which is the A, the La, cord de La. The second string here is the middle line of La Porte, and that middle line is D. And the bottom line of the stave, the bottom line of the staff, is Sol. This is G. So we have La, Re, Sol. Very easy. Top line, middle line, bottom line. And below it by two ledger lines we have here, Do. We have the C. So it's very easy to begin playing cello because if you're playing anything on the line at the top or above, it will be played on this string. If you play anything on the middle line or below the top line, it's played on the D string. And if you are playing notes that start on the bottom line and go up just before the middle line, those are on Sol. It's very easy and very logical on cello. When you're playing cello, this is what you see. You look down at the bridge and you have the four strings and they correspond as such. The A, the D, the G, the C. La, Re, Sol, Do. And according to the stave, the top line, the middle line, the bottom line. By now we know that the cello plays the clé de fa, the F clef, known as the bass clef. We play along these five horizontal lines, la porte, the stave or staff, and that the top, middle, and bottom line correspond with the A, first string, the D, second, and the third string, the G. La, Ré, Sol. And the fourth string, which is below the stave, is the C, Do. It is very simple to understand, yet you must memorize this. And this is the very foundation of what it means to play cello, is reading these symbols on those lines. Thank you for watching my video on how to read music on cello, lesson one, the open strings. If you want to learn more, of course, here is content that might be interesting for you, so please check it out. And I wanna thank you for stopping on by along your own journey of music discovery and including the channel. Have a wonderful day.